Listen and improve your English. The legendary Jack Nicholson, a journey through his illustrious career, celebrating his 86th birthday. The actor Jack Nicholson recently celebrated his 86th birthday, and his incredible career in the film industry is still a topic of admiration and discussion among movie lovers. From his captivating on screen presence to his distinctive acting style, Nicholson has managed to leave an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Let's take a closer look at his life and career, exploring some of his most memorable roles and accomplishments. Early Life and Career Beginnings Born on April 22, 1937, in Neptune City, New Jersey, Jack Nicholson grew up in a working-class family. He started to show an interest in performing arts during his high school years and eventually decided to pursue an acting career. In 1954, Nicholson moved to Hollywood, where he took various odd jobs while attending acting classes and auditioning for roles. Nicholson's first big break came in 1958 when he was cast in the low-budget film The Crybaby Killer. Although the movie was not a commercial success, it provided Nicholson with the opportunity to showcase his talent. Over the next decade, he appeared in several low-budget films, often working with director Roger Corman. Breakthrough in Easy Rider in 1969, Jack Nicholson's career took a significant turn when he was cast as George Hansen in the iconic film Easy Rider. His performance as a disillusioned lawyer who joins two bikers on a cross-country trip earned him widespread acclaim and his first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. This role catapulted Nicholson into the spotlight and marked the beginning of his rise to stardom. The 70s Decade of Success the 70s proved to be a successful decade for Nicholson, as he starred in a series of critically acclaimed and commercially successful films. In 1970, he played the role of Robert Eroica Dupia in Five Easy Pieces, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. His portrayal of a disillusioned pianist turned oil rig, worker resonated with audiences and critics alike. In 1974, Nicholson starred in Roman Polanski's Chinatown as private detective Jake Giddies. The film, a complex and dark tale of corruption in 1930s Los Angeles, is often considered one of the greatest movies in the history of cinema. Nicholson's performance earned him another Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Nicholson's winning streak continued with his role as Randall McMurphy in the 1975 film One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. His portrayal of a mischievous, rebellious inmate in a mental institution won his first Academy Award for Best Actor. The 80s continued success and iconic role. The 80s saw Nicholson take on a variety of roles that showcased his versatility as an actor. In 1980, he starred in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining as the infamous Jack Torrance, a writer who descends into madness while working as a caretaker at a remote hotel. Nicholson's haunting performance is widely regarded as one of the most memorable in horror film history. In 1983, Nicholson appeared in the comedy drama Terms of Endearment, playing the role of retired astronaut Garrett Breedlove. His performance earned him his second Academy Award, this time for Best Supporting Actor. Perhaps one of Nicholson's most iconic roles came in 1989, when he played the villainous Joker in Tim Burton's Batman. His twisted and darkly humorous portrayal of the character is still regarded as one of the best in the Batman franchise. The 90s, an established Hollywood legend. By the 90s, Jack Nicholson had firmly established himself as a Hollywood legend. He continued to take on a variety of roles throughout the decade, showcasing his immense talent and range as an actor. In 1992, he starred alongside Tom Cruise in the legal drama A Few Good Men, delivering the iconic line, You Can't Handle the Truth, his performance as the intimidating Colonel Nathan R. Jessup earned him yet another Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. In 1997, Nicholson starred in the romantic comedy As Good As It Gets, playing the role of Melvin Udall, a misanthropic and obsessive compulsive writer. His captivating performance won him his third Academy Award, this time for Best Actor. 
the 2000s decade, and beyond a lasting legacy. Even as he entered his 70s, Jack Nicholson continued to make his mark in the film industry. In 2002, he appeared in the critically acclaimed drama about Schmidt, portraying a retired insurance salesman who embarks on a soul-searching journey after the death of his wife. Nicholson's nuanced performance once again earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. In 2006, Nicholson starred in Martin Scorsese's crime thriller The Departed playing the role of Irish mob boss Frank Costello. The film was a massive success, both critically and commercially, and earned Nicholson yet another Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Although Nicholson has taken on fewer roles in recent years, his influence and impact on the world of cinema remain undeniable. With a career spanning over six decades and countless memorable roles, Jack Nicholson has left an indelible mark on the history of film. Awards and Accolades Throughout his illustrious career, Jack Nicholson has received numerous awards and accolades in recognition of his immense talent and contributions to the film industry. In addition to his three Academy Awards, Nicholson has received seven Golden Globe Awards, three BAFTA Awards, and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute. Personal Life and Philanthropy Aside from his acting career, Nicholson has also been involved in various philanthropic endeavors. He is known for his support of environmental causes, as well as his advocacy for children's rights and education. Nicholson has also been a longtime supporter of the Los Angeles Lakers basketball team and is often seen attending their games. In his personal life, Nicholson has been romantically involved with several high-profile women, including actress Angelica Houston and model Rebecca Broussard. He has five children from his various relationships. In conclusion, Jack Nicholson's incredible journey from humble beginnings to Hollywood legend serves as a testament to his talent, dedication, and enduring appeal. As we celebrate his 86th birthday, it is clear that his contributions to the world of cinema will continue to be remembered and cherished for generations to come. In this article, we use several interesting expressions that can help enhance your understanding of the English language. Here are a few examples. Humble beginnings. This expression refers to a person's modest or lowly starting point in life or their career. In the context of the article, Jack Nicholson's humble beginnings refer to his early years in the film industry, where he started with small roles before becoming a Hollywood legend. Example, many successful entrepreneurs had humble beginnings, starting their businesses in their garages or basements before achieving great success. Make one's mark. This idiom means to have a significant impact or to achieve something noteworthy. In the article, it is mentioned that Jack Nicholson continued to make his mark in the film industry, even as he entered his 70s. Example, the young athlete made her mark in the sport by breaking multiple world records at the age of 18. Left an indelible mark. This expression refers to having a lasting and unforgettable impact on something or someone. In the context of the article, Jack Nicholson's contributions to the world of cinema have left an indelible mark on film history. Example, the civil rights movement of the 60s has left an indelible mark on American society, leading to significant advancements in social and legal equality. Live up to one's reputation. This idiom means to perform or behave as well as people expect based on one's previous achievements or renown. Example, the highly anticipated movie sequel failed to live up to its reputation, leaving fans disappointed with its lackluster plot and acting. This expression is used to show that something serves as evidence or proof of a particular quality or fact. In the context of the article, Jack Nicholson's journey from humble beginnings to Hollywood legend serves as a testament to his talent, dedication, and enduring appeal. Example. The team's victory in the championship game was a testament to their hard work and determination throughout the season. These expressions can help you enrich your English vocabulary and enhance your overall language skills.